You know, there comes a time when even the mightiest of champions has to evolve for a new generation. It's reviewing time! What up, tubers? Deltrax and Lenny and get back with a brand new video review. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Zeltrax Reviews of the Millennium. This time we're taking a look at one of my very special Christmas presents thanks to my very special mom and dad. Super Robot Chogokin Daijujin or Megazord from the Super Robot Chogokin line. Now this thing was very highly anticipated from either a Super Sentai standpoint or from a Power Ranger standpoint because this is the mecha that popularized the 90s. And no, I don't mean Optimus Prime. Anywho, yeah. Let's go into this figure, and the first thing we start off with is, of course, the packaging, because it's got a few minor differences from the Japanese version. As you can see with the packaging, the packaging looks absolutely gorgeous! You see the Zhu Ranger tribe logo of the Tyrannosaurus, Sabertooth Tiger, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, and the Mastodon along with the Japanese kanji of Daijujin, or Kanakana, I, I cannot remember in the slightest. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Celebrating 20 Years logo down there. And also the sticker of Megazord right there. Aside from a few minor stickers, this is, bare, this is practically the same thing as the Japanese box. So the front of the box shows Daijujin, or Megazord, in a very dynamic pose. Sorry if I go back and forth between Daijujin and Megazord in this review side of the box shows a lot of Japanese, including a Bluefin distribution sticker right here, because they were the guys who brought it over here. Thank you very much, Bluefin. Side of the box shows... Whoa! Side of the box shows they Jujin in another big pose with the Super Robot Chogokin logo down there. Back of the box shows him in very dynamic posing, as well as the top of the box, which looks awesome. And also, same exact thing on the bottom, just in color. So yeah, very, very awesome box. Before we get into the figure proper, let's get into his accessory count. First off is his iconic weapon. The Power Sword, or called the Kyoryu Ken God Horn in Zhu Ranger. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the silver paint on this blade. The People have also been complaining about the gold inlay for the, sh for the sword here. And a lot of promotional material and other pictures I've seen of the power sword here is that the inlay here is actually dark gray. Must have been an artistic license or something, I don't know. But it does look very awesome. The handle, black, with a silver tip on the bottom, very nice. And also, the mammoth shield, or mastodon if you prefer. Thankfully, like on the 2010 release of the Megazord, the trunk and the tusks do not move, sadly enough. But it does have a handle, so that way you can take one of the, the holding thing's hands and plug it in. Another thing is that he also comes with effect parts. This one is for that head laser thing that he rarely uses in uh, either Mighty Morphin or Zhu Ranger. So yeah, and it just plugs in via a little hole that goes onto the top of his head. And I'll show that off during the posing montage. The final effect part is the charge up effect for the power sword for when he uses the finishing move. Or in J or in Zhu Ranger, it's called the Childen Sets Raikogiri. Yeah, sorry for my poor Japanese pronunciation. But yeah, the effect looks awesome. It does look like the blade charging up with energy. And people have also been complaining that the, that the charge-up effect is not the right color because on the show it was actually red and yellow. And I managed to overpass that by WHO CARES! If you want to paint it to look like the actual color, just get some clear red spray paint. Simple as that. I like it just as it is. We got splayed open hands. Old relaxed splayed open hands. And of course the holding Dane's hands, which can, also, which can also double as fists. So, yeah. 
Time for the details of Dai Jujin. Dai Jujin's detailing is absolutely beautiful. Ever since I saw images of this thing pop up on Ranger Board, Henshin Justice Unlimited, Ami Ami's blog, I've just wanted this thing. And you see the inlays of the uh, M on the shoulder pads? Those are actually individually molded pieces and then painted on. It just looks oh, beautiful. You see the Tyrannosaurus tail on the back here, which is actually identical to the toy in the suit from what I, from what I remember in the Sentai footage. The arms look beautiful. The bottom of the Tyrannosaurus feet down here. The side panels here don't have detail painting, but eh, that's, a, that's a minor letdown. Oh well. The torso area looks very nice. Legs big, powerful. The detailing on the Triceratops is nice. Nice shade of blue. Nice white de striping right here. Nice detailing on the treads. Nice detailing of where his gun would be. The front of the face looks beautiful. Sabertooth Tiger, very nice. I love the teeth right here. And they are pointy, so that way you could potentially draw blood in these things. So be careful with that. So yeah. And there's even little tiny teeth molded in and painted. I love it. I love this figure. I just love it so much. Now on to Daijujin's articulation. Now, there may be a few QC problems with your Daijujin when you get yours. Thankfully, mine didn't have a whole bunch of the problems. For one thing, the joints on mine were very tight, and I was able to use some shock oil in order to get it moving. Speaking of which, most of you guys were probably wondering what kind of shock oil I use, and this is the version I use. Johnson's Oil Treatment. And this stuff worked beautifully on both my figure arts and this guy too. There have been a couple of other videos where show the actual shock oil that you're supposed to use, and I'll link it down below. But this stuff works beautifully. It was able to lubricate all the joints perfectly. The ball joints, all perfectly fine. So yeah. If you're looking for shock oil, make sure it's this kind of bottle. So yeah, now on to Daijujin's articulation. Daijujin's articulation is absolutely scrumptious. It, probably, it could probably trump figure arts even. It's got a inner shoulder joint where you can bring the shoulder forward so that way you can do some poses with his sword where he's holding it with both hands. There's a ball joint right here so it can go all the way around. The shoulder pads can also move down, so that way you can also move the shoulders in and out. So it's a little bit stiff when you try to move it back up to normal shoulder length, or something like that. He's also got a twist at the upper part of the elbow. He's got a normal elbow joint, but take a look at this. Another cavity for when he can do a double jointed elbow, which is awesome. And also another added feature. Even more of an of a wrist tilt for when he's double jointing. I love that I love that bit. And plus he's also got ball jointed wrists like figure arts normally do. The waist is a very interesting bit. You can it moves a little bit side to side and it can go back and forth if the, there's a little bit of squeakiness but nothing too terrible it, you can also pull the jo pull the waist joint up so that way you can get even more of an ab crunch which is awesome and plops right back down if you want show accuracy the flaps on these sides and the front all move a little bit so that way you can get a bit more articulation out of this guy and sadly, due to my, due to me adding the shock oil, the legs are a little loose, but they can still hold poses fine. Speaking of which, the legs can go forward and back, in and out, twist at the upper part of the leg. Very lovingly double joints. I never, 
I would never think that a figure of Megazord here would actually need a double joint, but they added it in anyway. And a very nice joint system. I love that joint. And also, added ankle tilt for the legs. <laughs> I'm loving this figure every single time I mention something about it. Also on the Sabertooth Tiger, there's the same kind of uh, ankle tilt here. But also, with posing, you can also move the forward paws up and down. Which is awesome. The head is on multiple ball joints. It can go all the way around, side to side, and you can do a full Frankenstein. And another added play feature, and the toy never did this. I believe it was just added in for extra play value, but I just love this bit. Check this out. Over-the-shoulder laser cannons. <laughs> if the original Megazord was able to do this in the show, Evil would be totally screwed. <laughs> so yeah, this is awesome. So now I think it's time for a posing montage. Kick it! as a size comparison, here is the Super Robot Joe Gokin Daijujin with the Retrofire Megazord. And as you can tell, the Retrofire just is about a head shorter than the actual Daijujin figure. But it's but the Retrofire is still a really good figure, and I still highly recommend you track this down. So, in closing, Super Robot Joe Gokin Daijujin is an absolutely fantastic figure. It's got very awesome articulation, very nice detailing to the show, and a lot of the details I really like, especially with the gold inlay of the sword here. And overall, this thing is an absolute masterpiece. The, the die cast in this figure is handled very nicely, only in the uh, chest area and the legs from what I can tell. And overall, it's an awesome figure! Guys, I highly recommend that you guys go to CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Amazon.com, which, which is where my mom and dad got this guy, and buy this figure. You shall not regret it. Wow. The 20th anniversary of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is definitely heating up and looking to be absolutely incredible. The Megazords for Megaforce are looking very nice and very good substitutes to the Japanese versions. The, the Ghost Same Warfare is especially awesome. I cannot wait to find that thing when I can find it in stores. And overall, 2013 is looking to be a very awesome year for Power Rangers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. This has been Zeltrex Millennium saying good night and good luck. Laters! Mm -hmm.